March Madness hits San Diego as day two of the NCAA tournament brings highs and lows for some of the country's best college basketball teams. Welcome to this special edition of CBS 8 News. I'm Carlo Cicchetto. And I'm Jesse Pagan. Jake Gariani has been following all the action today, but we start with CBS 8's Tim Blodgett live at Viejas Arena where SDSU is playing host tournament games. Tim? Well, guys, it looked and felt a lot like March Madness Day in Viejas Arena. There were some blowouts, there were some upsets and everything in between. And fans traveled from all around the country to root on their team for them to book a spot in the next round of the NCAA tournament. The madness is in full swing in San Diego. Four games contesting some of the top colleges in the country in the first round of the NCAA tournament. The first game this morning, Montana State versus Texas Tech, saw the Red Raiders dispatch the Bobcats in a big way. Ashley and Tony traveled from Sheridan, Wyoming, to root on their son Sam, a forward for the Bobcats. Um, <laughs> Total sadness. <laughs> <laughs> it was a tough game, um, and you know, it's just so awesome to be here and so awesome to be a part of it. The next game pitted 6 seed Alabama versus the 11 seed Notre Dame. The Fighting Irish fans traveled well and dominated the Crimson Tide 78-64 in an opening round upset for the University out of South Bend. Yeah, let's go Irish! And a dose of March sadness for the fans traveling from Alabama. It was a tough loss. It was, it was, we was so looking loss. forward to them being here in California. Yeah. It's all good though. We'll bounce back from it next season. Don't worry about nothing. It's all good. We're coming back. Alabama road tie. Let's go. It was a short drive from Tucson for the fans of the University of Arizona. The number one seeded Wildcats headed into the tournament as one of the favorites to win it all. Their first roadblock was the 16th seed Wright State Raiders. The boys from Dayton, Ohio played the Wildcats tough, but eventually fell 87 to 70. Finally, the last game of the night, the TCU Horned Frogs battled the Seton Hall Pirates in a matchup of eight versus nine. Well, the TC TCU just finished off Seton Hall, and so they will play number one seeded out, uh, Arizona in, on Sunday at the AS Arena, and the Texas Tech Red Raiders will face Notre Dame. Jake, we'll send things back to you in the studio. All right, Tim, I appreciate it. Nice job out there, bud, and uh, have a lot of fun for us, huh?